This is One on One. Pleased to be joined by Dr. Tracy Scheller, medical director at the Graf Center for Integrative Medicine. And she's also a gynecologist at Englewood Health. Good to see you. Thank you. That's a fascinating title first in terms of the Graf Center for Integrative Medicine, but the gynecologist part, which part comes first? Sure. So I am an obstetrician gynecologist and I delivered an OBGYN. OBGYN right? for 12 years delivering babies at Englewood Hospital. Then I stopped the obstetrical part of my life and decided to do GYN only. So I started my own practice in gynecology, but then I went back to school and worked on a master's of science in nutrition at Columbia. And that got me involved with integrative medicine and Englewood Hospital, became part of their advisory board at the Graf mm. Center. And then I started a fellowship in integrative medicine. You, you keep using the term integrative medicine, yes. and I don't want to assume, doctor, that everyone knows what it means. What okay. does it mean? Give us an example of it. Sure. So that is bringing together conventional medicine and complementary therapies in a coordinated and evidence-based way to help the healing process. Can we make that a little more grounded yes. in someone says, oh, that's it. So yes. for example. For example, someone has diabetes or right. high blood pressure. So if someone you, says, I'm just going to treat it with some medicine. Exactly. Their doctor prescribes medications, but yet they're overweight, obese. They don't have good nutritional skills, they do not exercise, and they're crazy stressed at work. And integrative medicine would incorporate? Exactly, so we talk about the root of all their problems. We put the patient at the center, hmm. say, hey, let's invest you in your own health process and talk about some modalities that you can work on to improve your own health. So let's get you into to nutritional counseling. Let's talk about what exercise you're doing. And, oh, you're very stressed? Let's talk about meditation, mindfulness. What things are you doing for yourself? Massage therapy, maybe acupuncture, Reiki, and introducing those modalities that have evidence and have been shown to be quite helpful. I'm curious about something. In terms of integrative medicine and its connection to your work as a gynecologist, or the OB side as well, give me some examples there. I'm curious about that. Absolutely. In obstetrics. <clears throat> when we talk about the stressors of being pregnant, uh, postpartum, the changes that we go through hormonally, having a new child, postpartum depression plays a role, integrative uh, resources like meditation, mindfulness can help people with a lot of those changes that are going on in their life. Uh, with gynecology, people going through perimenopause, menopause, hot flashes. What does that have to do with integrated medicine? So acupuncture, meditation, and women tend to gain weight and they're concerned about their weight gain and um, how they feel. And so talking to them about nutritional changes, getting involved, motivating them to exercise and help them feel better and whole and healthy again. I'm curious about this from a personal and professional point of view, given your work, uh, as a gynecologist, and then having this role uh, and connected to integrative medicine, how much more reward, not, not that it's not very rewarding to be involved in the OB, uh, GYN side, but how is this different for you as a medical professional on a personal level? Personally, I'm sleeping at night. <laughs> <laughs> so it helps me be a better doctor, a better mother, and I feel more rewarded because I can look at somebody as a whole and let them know that I'm listening, not only to their gynecologic problem and their needs, but really what else is going on in their life. And how can I help motivate them to make a difference and change in their lifestyle to make them feel better? Really rewarding. Very rewarding. Uh, where'd you grow up? I grew up in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Where? Pottsville, Pennsylvania, home of Yingling Brewery. <laughs> Uh, oh, now we got it. Okay, you need to make a beer connection. I like that. <laughs> yes, and then I lived in Houston, uh, Texas, <clears throat> and that's where I went to medical school. How did we get you in Jersey? 
my husband, who's Australian, he was living and working uh, in New York at J.P. Morgan, and that's how I came up here so that we could be together. I'm always fascinated when I can tell someone's not from New Jersey. I can't always tell, but... You could tell? I don't know if I could tell, but I was like, <laughs> how'd she get to Jersey? Real quick, um, misconceptions about integrative medicine include? That you have to have a disease to, in order to meet with an integrative medicine physician. And no, you really have to think about what is your goal for your own health. And I don't think people take a lot of time to think about that. They see their doctor when they have a problem. But let's talk about how you want to make change so that you can be healthier, you can be around with your loved ones and make your life better. But a couple of minutes here left. When it comes to integrative medicine, to what degree does it have the potential, doctor, to, to have people using less, quote unquote, medication? That's the goal. Fewer drugs. Fewer drugs, fewer side effects. And if these modalities work, great. If they don't, we have other options. But why don't we try the less invasive options first? And, and real quick, how does it change, potentially change someone's lifestyle moving forward? They're gonna develop better lifestyle habits right? So it's not about being on a diet or just exercising for a short period of time. It's about creating new healthy habits for themselves, their family members, teaching to their children, and, and being happier. I'm curious about something. Um, the whole mentality that some have, and I'll include myself, there are times or a situation you're feeling there's some illness or you're feeling whatever, give me a pill. You look for the pill. You, you reach out for a quick. physician, a quick fix. Okay, symptoms are one thing, but you're talking about something much deeper than that. We're looking at the root cause of a problem. Some people may have stomach disorders, distress, and it may be because of stressors that are going on at work, something that's going on in their family life. But we didn't have time to get into the root of those problems because we're too worried about fixing, oh, why do you have stomach ache? Right, so what you said about diabetes, when you start it, if someone said, oh, you have diabetes, this is the medication, but there are lots of underlying issues that are connected to the diabetes, which is in fact what integrated medicine is about. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Tracy Scheller. Yes. Is medical director at the Graf Center for Integrative Medicine, a gynecologist at Englewood Health. I want to thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. You shared a lot of valuable advice. Great. Thank you for well having done. me. Now, this is One on One. I'm Steve Adubato. Make sure you check us out next time. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey. Valley Bank, ADP, Rowan University, Johnson & Johnson, Summit Medical Group, and by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.